to the next dimension. Hey guys, this is Undercover Dudes all the way from Dan with some Modern Warfare 3 gameplay. Now it's going to be a great backdrop to what I have to talk about today and that is Black Ops 2 and how it's going to change and develop and expand my channel. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm crossing my fingers. Pretty much most of you guys know me for combat arms. That's obvious. That's the reason why you, all you guys have subscribed. You subscribe to see some combat arms commentaries. Or the top 5 plays. Mainly your top 5 plays from what I'm seeing from the views. Most people watch the top 5 plays and other people watch the other commentaries. But the majority watch the top 5 plays. And that is absolutely fine. Now, pretty much being a combat arms only guy, that leaves me kind of limited. That leaves me limited in a very, 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 very strict sense of it. I can only really play combat arms and get people to watch it. But I, what I want to do now is expand my channel. I want to grow my channel to an extent where I can play more than one game and people are still going to watch it. And kind of not so much split my viewer base, but get a different type of viewer base into my channel. Now, I think Black Ops 2 is where I can do that. Now, every Call of Duty, you see some new commentator on the scene doing their stuff, putting beast gameplays, have a great commentary, do something new. And hopefully, I'm hoping I can be that new commentator on the block for Black Ops 2. Break into the scene and show the world what I have and what I can provide for my viewers, for my gameplay, for my half decent gameplay. It isn't going to be the best. I'm not going to, I'm not a Moab king in terms of Modern Warfare free but I can hold my own I can do pretty good and I can top frag nearly every second match around ish depending on how good the enemies are but that, that really doesn't matter. I kind of want Black Ops 2 to be my breaking point into the community. Instead of like crawling along, I want to expand my channel exponentially and kind of get more people to watch. Because I don't like treading kind of thing. I just I don't like just gaining, you know, a couple subscribers a day and, you know, just kind of cruising along my channel. I want my channel to expand. I want my channel to grow. And I think that's what every YouTuber says. But YouTuber thinks but doesn't say because I think that arrogant stuff like that. I think it's just kind of of my goal and if, I think it's a good goal and if you're a YouTuber and you think that then it's all right to say if you want your channel to grow and become much more bigger then that's a great aim and that's the aim of mine I want my channel to become bigger cater to a bigger audience and hopefully more people can see what I provide on YouTube now Black Ops 2 in terms of it I'm going to be doing a top 5 plays. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to be killing the combat arms top 5 plays. That is, you know, that's never going to be dead. Uh, when I quit gaming is when I will quit the combat arms top 5 plays. That's literally how much I'm dedicated to this series. 42 episodes in, I'm going to continue with this series for the rest of my gaming career. And it's just something I bring you guys and hopefully you guys will keep enjoying it. Well, until combat arms dies, I think that's a much more better way of saying it. Now, that doesn't mean I'm going to be quitting, you know, normal games even normal games of combat arms, normal commentaries. I'm going to be still doing stuff like that, talking about all the latest news. I've been slacking off because of school, but, you know, I'd rather focus on grades and making videos. But still, I'll be still making videos on all this new stuff. But that doesn't mean I'm going to be doing all combat arms like you've been seeing right now. And I think Black Ops 2 is where I'm going to kind of draw the 50-50. Or not so much the 50-50. Combat arms will be 50%. Black Ops would be more like 40%. And then other games would be more like 10%. Or depending on how successful it is. If it's not successful, then combat arms will go high. And if Black Ops is successful, then Black Ops will go higher. Because I'm not so much enjoying combat arms at the moment. It's become a more of a chore to jump online just because the game isn't be, isn't as good as it was in 2009 2010 just because there's so much bullshit in the game so many hackers so many so much lag when call of duty really doesn't have those factors i've been born in the lag of combat arms so moving into the call of duty world i don't see the problems that other commentators see i'm much more tolerant to the issues like that last stand and stuff like that even though they are problems i don't see them as much and i don't think there's so much of a problem as other people would now, Black Ops Top 5 Plays, that's what I want to do. I want to start a Black Ops Top 5 Plays. Now, I know lots of people are doing it already, but you see how successful my Combat Arms Top 5 Plays is. I can't go and deny it. My Combat Arms Top 5 Plays is the longest running and the most successful out of everybody that's gone and attempted to do it. 
So saying that, I want to bring this into Black Ops 2. I want to put my hard work, everything I've learned from Combat Arms, all the weeks and weeks, from my very small beginnings from week 1, all up to week 42 now. I want to bring that. I want to bring that into the Black Ops Top 5 plays and produce the best Top 5 plays that I can make. Not really looking at everybody else's and thinking, oh, am I going to copy them? Am I doing the same stuff as them? I produce a Top 5 plays that I will be proud of and hopefully you guys guys will enjoy. So I'm going to bring that into Black Ops 2. I'm going to start my own top 5 plays and hopefully it can become as big or possibly bigger than the Combat Arms top 5 plays. That would be pretty awesome. Like any other commentator, like the how I do it right now, I have my top 5 plays and the general commentaries. General commentaries are also going to be a big part of my channel as well for Black Ops 2. And I think it's just going to become like another stage in my YouTubing career. Combat Arms is great and I'm never going to stop doing Combat Arms, but I also need to expand and not limit myself just the one little thing. When I expand the Black Ops, there's more people going to watch it, and that means a bigger audience, that means expanding my channel, and that means hopefully, hopefully, a bigger channel and more success for me. Because that's what I want in the end. Success for me, for you guys to watch more, and just kind of more people to appreciate my content. Bye for now, it's Undercover Dudes, all the way from Down Under, out.